Hello everybody and welcome to Sunday the 22nd of November and today we're going to be reading from Daniel chapter 3 verses 24 through to 30 and today is called the fourth man. Let's read. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet. He was so amazed he asked his advisors, didn't we tie up three men? Didn't we throw three men into the fire? They replied, yes, we did, your majesty. The king said, look, I see four men walking around the fire. They aren't tied up and the fire hasn't even, even harmed them. The fourth man looks like the son of God. <clears throat> then the king approached the opening of the blazing furnace. He shouted, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, come out. You who serve the most high God, come here. So they came out of the fire. Not one hair on their heads was burned. Their robes weren't, weren't burnt either. And they didn't even smell like smoke. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, May the God of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego be praised. He has sent an angel and saved his servants. They trusted in him. They refused to obey my command. <clears throat> they were willing to give up their lives. They, they would rather die then serve or worship any God except their own God. No other God can save people this way. Then the king honored Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. He gave them higher positions in the city of Babylon and the towns around it. Here today, we read that about king, king Nebuchadnezzar is absolutely shocked with what he saw. So much that he had to check with his advisors um, to see if they tied up Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. In the furnace, um, there is a fourth person. King Nebuchadnezzar says the fourth man looked like the son of God. It could have been an angel or a pre-incarnation of Jesus. But it shows that God was with them always. King Nebuchadnezzar, then he calls out Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and sees that there was no damage to them, no damage to their clothes, uh, not even they didn't even smell like smoke. And King Nebuchadnezzar was amazed by Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego's faith in God, that they were willing to die for God, and that and that in a, and the way that God saved them with supernatural power. This is the same king that created a golden statue for himself. He made his people bow to his image but here comes but here King Nebuchadnezzar comes face to face with the one true God and what is his response he orders everyone everyone of all people nations any all languages to worship the God of Shadrach Meshach and Abednego you know we face daily challenges not like today's story but we we face daily challenges but these these challenges are an opportunity for us to worship God through our obedience. Because our obedience shows that we acknowledge God's authority. Our decisions will point people to God. Through Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego's obedience to God, um, God was ultimately glorified and their act of faith pointed people to God. You know, God is always with us just like he was with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. So may this fact comfort you in whatever, whatever challenges you're facing now, that, um, that they are opportunities for us to worship God. So whatever situation you're going through, may your obedience point people to God. Let's pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you for this story, this amazing story that we read today, Father God. And we just pray that, Father, that we would, we would take great comfort from this story, knowing that you are always with us. And, Father, I pray that this would give us great and, and more courage to live a life that is obedient to you, Father God. I pray that our lives would, um, would, would be obedient and would point people to you, Father God. So, Father, give us comfort, give us strength. So that whatever decisions we make, Father God, may they be glorifying to you and point people to you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye, everyone.